so now I'm going to be going over um, the specimen paper from Pearson's at Excel, the International A-Level Pure Maths 1, um, which was made in 2018. Okay, this paper um, is obviously here because there's you know, not many past papers for this. The new, the new syllabus, the first exam was in January 2019, which I've already uploaded on my channel. So I'm going to be going through this paper here, this specimen paper, and a few others, sample assessment material papers, and some other P1 papers that I have compiled myself from various sources um, to help students to prepare for their exam. And uh, the link for this paper can be found in the playlist for this particular paper which I'll link at the end of the video so I'm going to go through this question question by question and I'm going to compile it in the playlists for this paper and the playlist also um, topic wise for P1 and also for C12 okay so I have playlists for different topics so if somebody wants to revise a particular topic they can then um, go to that particular playlist for that topic anyway so let's start straight away with question number one um, this is a question which is about transformations and we're told that there's a point 3 minus 4 which is called the point P which lies on the curve with equation y equals f of x. We are not told the equation of the curve but we are told to state the coordinates of the point P or its image after the transformation that is represented by the curve or the equation given. Okay, so first of all you've got the equation y equals f of x in brackets f of x minus 2 f brackets x minus 2 now whenever you have a transformation that a change that takes place see that this is the original function and this is what it's changed to the change has taken place inside the function in reality what would have happened is that the x the x um, terms in the equation would be replaced by x minus 2 okay so what, what actually this causes is a horizontal transformation okay it's a horizontal change when it's inside the function and if something's added or subtracted it causes a translation where the image shifts or the you know the the, the graph shifts okay one way or the other either up or down or left or right now if it's inside the function it's going to shift um, you know horizontally and when it's inside the function in addition what happens it acts kind of the opposite of what you think. Minus 2, you'd think it means 2 to the left. But no, it means 2 to the right. Okay, so when it's inside the function, it's horizontal. And when it's inside the function, it acts like strain, opposite to what you normally think. So basically, what, what this means is we have P3 and minus 4. So that will become P dash, you can say the image of P. Okay, now... When it's inside the function, it's only the x value that changes. So the y value will stay as minus 4. But the x value, okay, you would think it might, it might mean you take away 2 from the x value. But no, it means you do the opposite. You add 2 to the x value. So this is going to come 5 minus 4. So it shifts two, two spaces to the right and no spaces up or down. It's like a translation of vector um, to 0. Okay, that's, that's what this is, a translation of vector 2, 0. Okay, that's for part A. Now, part B is y equals minus f of x. So, we have the original point, which goes to its image under this transformation. Now, in this case, it's outside the function. You have f minus x and you have minus f of x. This is inside the function and this is outside the function. When it's inside the function, it only affects the x coordinates. When it's outside the function, it affects the y coordinate. So in this case, the y coordinate will change its sign and the x coordinate will stay as it is. It's basically a reflection in the x axis. It's a vertical transformation. It moves in this direction. It goes from um, 3 minus 4 to 3, 4. It's reflected in the x axis. Okay, so when you have something like this, when it's outside the function, it's only the x, only the x coordinate which is affected, and the y coordinate. Sorry, it's only the y coordinate that's affected, and the x coordinate stays the same. When it's inside the function, it's the x coordinate that's affected, and in this case, it's like opposite to what you think. All right. 
and the y coordinate stays as it is but when it's outside the function as we have in part b it's the y coordinate that changes x coordinate stays the same now 2y equals f of x now what i'm going to do first is i'm going to write this in terms of y this is like y equals a half times f of x now this is a vertical okay transfer transformation because it's something where you've got something multiplied by the whole function okay there's a difference again between there's a difference between f of a half of x and f of 2x or uh, sorry a half x a half times f of x one is inside the function one is outside they're both stretches you both both of them you have to multiply the x or the y coordinate but the, 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 this one, the y coordinate is multiplied by a half, acts kind of normal. So the x coordinate stays the same. So this is your original point. The x coordinate stays the same, but the y coordinate is multiplied by a half, a half times f of x. So it becomes 3 minus 2. So that's the coordinates of point C. If it was inside the function, then you'd multiply the x coordinate by to the reciprocal of what that number is if it was f and a half of x inside okay so that's to do with trans the transformation called stretches okay the when it's outside the function it's a vertical stretch here it's a factor half if it's inside inside the fact function it will be a horizontal stretch which will be a factor of the reciprocal of the number okay so if it was f half of x you multiply the x coordinate by two but here it's a half f of x so you multiply the y coordinate by a half okay now for part d y equals f of x plus four now this is also a translation but again it's vertical because it's something that's added outside the function it's not inside the function this is where it's inside the function where the x coordinate is affected this is where it's outside the function where the y coordinate is affected so in this case the x coordinate stays exactly as it is so you have p dash in this case is three but the y coordinate you have to add four to it okay it's basically a translation of vector zero four so it doesn't move horizontally it moves vertically up four spaces if it's outside the function plus means up okay if it's if it was inside the function plus would mean to the left okay because inside acts kind of opposite just like it did here okay we mentioned with f of half of x use the reciprocal not the actual number so here this you got to take the y coordinate and you got to add four to it with minus four plus four is zero and there we have the answer to question number one